and welcome to the November 2016 edition of MPS On The Move. This is your collection of monthly highlights for the Midland Public Schools. STEM News. Dow High School recently hosted the second annual Bot Bash. Many FIRST Robotics teams competed in the 2016 FIRST game, Stronghold. It was a good chance for the teams to shake off the rust, have some fun competing, and put the robots through their paces. The teams will be building new robots for the next challenge later this school year, so more on our robotics technicians at that time. Bond Update. Central Park Elementary School construction continues. The school is coming along real nicely with the shell almost complete and the roof is almost on. The goal is to have the building closed up prior to the beginning of winter and they remain on track to have the building open in the fall of 2017. Pictures and videos are available on the district website www.midlandps.org. Bond Update Part 2. Thanks to the great work of our IT department and school teachers, administrators, and staff members, we saw a successful rollout of Chromebooks at both high schools. So teacher training in the software and online tools to better use the Chromebooks is ongoing. And putting these 21st century learning tools in the hands of our students, it's already impacted instruction and learning in the classroom. And we're excited to say that we're now one-to-one -one with technology at all of our high schools and middle schools. Thank you very much to all of our community members for your support of these important bond projects. Sports Report. It's been a successful fall for many of our athletic teams. We'll highlight two regional winners today. The Dow High School boys tennis team is loving life in the Division II competition. They recently won the regionals again and are on to the state finals. Good luck, Chargers. The Midland High School equestrian team won their regional as well and they're also on to the state finals. So good luck, Chemex. Adams Garden Harvest. Finally, there was a great harvest at the Adams Elementary School Garden. Adams is one of several elementary schools that has a teaching garden. They give the students and teachers opportunities to experience science concepts in a hands-on, real-life way. It truly was a bountiful harvest, both in terms of food for the table and learning opportunities for our students. Great job, Adams Elementary. Well, that's our show for today. Have a great month, and we'll see you next time on MPS On The Move.